Now we're in the kitchen, and it's your lucky day. This we're is, busting out the Guinness. That's what I missed on my vacation was, was the lunches. <laughs> Are you kidding? The, you had delicious food. Oh, <laughs> such good food. But we'll talk about that at a later date. Well, St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, mm -hmm. so everyone's going to bust out the Guinness. You might right? want to put that down, lady. And don't, I'm having a good time with that Guinness. Don't necessarily drink it. You can make some delicious Irish recipes with it. Here to show us is Dan Whalen, blogger from thefoodofmybeard.com. Dan? How are you guys doing? Great. How are you? <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so I got a, uh, a Guinness braised short rib for you today. All right. Uh, over some mashed potatoes with roasted kale. I like it. And, and that's uh, the green for St. Patrick's Day right here. Yeah, some green there. You got to throw it everywhere. Some Guinness. So uh, I don't know how often you guys cook with short ribs. But Never. So this is good. We have, um, this is what it looks like when you buy it. Uh, it has the bone right here. And it's super marbleized which means there's a lot of fat going on. So when you cook it slowly, that's when you get that nice, tender, uh, fall apart type of meat. So this is a slow cooker kind of meat? Slow cooking, Okay, yeah, you yeah, wouldn't yeah. grill something like this? No, no. Okay. Uh, there is there is grilled ways people do it. When it's sliced thin, it's usually in Korean barbecue. Huh. But today we're gonna braise it. <laughs> this is right. far from Korean barbecue today. So uh, first you wanna brown it really well. See, um, so, you know, a lot of times the, res the recipe will say, brown it, but like you kind of just gray it. Okay. You want to make sure we're browning it here. Uh, get a nice brown on color it. Wheels out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> brown is different than gray. Uh, and once it's brown, you take it out and you get some uh, on onions, celery, carrots going for a little bit. Okay, and throw it right in there. Throw it right in. You want to cook these a little longer, but I'm just going to put them back in for okay. right now. So um, you just have oil in there right now, right? Just some oil and some of the um, rendered fat from the short ribs themselves. Okay. And then Guinness. We're going to take a sip of it. Yeah, we're going to take a quick <laughs> swig first. It's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And then pretty much a whole can of Guinness? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, save a couple of I mean, obviously, there's going to be more short ribs in your pan when you're doing this. That's but, true. But um, you already have some done, so. Yeah, so that's it. Um, and then that's it? I like to put this in the oven myself, but if you don't want to put it in the oven, if you don't have a pan like this, you can le you can leave it on your stove top. Just simmer it on low. It takes about three hours. You want to check on it. You don't want to have it like fully falling apart. Uh, you want it to be still a solid chunk, but like when your fork goes into it, it kind of just melts into the fork, which I'll show you in a minute. But these are the mashed potatoes we're going to serve it on. Have you ever had roasted kale like that? So good, like kale chips. Chips, yeah, it comes out healthy. like chips. But like people only use it as as a snack and as chips, but it tastes so good. Mix it in other stuff. Make the kale chips point. and then use them for something else. Make That's a salad a really with good it. Really good idea. So uh, we're gonna on top of a salad. That's yeah. Thinking Dan Whalen. We're gonna pop uh, some or all of those into these potatoes here. Okay. Let's you do that. You can use that thing. Here you go, Seth. Thank you. Let and you do I also have some chives here. Oh yeah. Chive it up. Now talk about these potatoes. How did you make these? They look amazing. I roasted the potatoes. I like roasted potatoes, not boiled potatoes. Yeah. That looks good. And we'll keep the rest out. I like Do to I ro roast my potatoes for mashed potatoes because you're losing a lot of that good potato flavor in the water. Oh. When you strain it out, the water has really good stuff. So I like to roast them instead. Um, you need to add more like milk or cream or butter, but who, who cares? Yeah, you know? exactly. That's a good thing. So uh, yeah, just mix that in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, you want me to put my her? back into it. No, 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 I'm working. That's gonna I'm, work I'm doing it. Good, See, good. look at this. She doesn't have to do Zumba later because she's doing this right now. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. All right, now, cool. Three so, hours later, that's what that's looking like. Yeah. So I have the finished, uh, the finished short ribs here. These are so pretty. Yeah. These are great. Festive, it's festive. Yeah, I love it. So this is what it looks like. The the <sighs> meat has shrunk a lot. The bone is kind of like half falling off. And we're going to put a nice scoop of the potatoes on here first. Now, I noticed in the recipe there's some molasses, some paprika. When does that go in? That goes in at the beginning. Oh, okay. Uh, the beginning of the... Uh... Like the beginning when I when I put the when I put the Guinness in. Oh, That's okay. when you put that stuff in. Oh, okay. And then just I get let you. it go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then you let it go. So follow the recipe. You just throw it all into a pot. But it's a one-pot thing. Throw it all in yeah, once you brown it. Yeah, throw it in it. and that's it. So there you go. The potatoes are down. And then we're just going to take one of these and just pop it right on top there. Maybe two, why not? Yeah. Why not, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. There now, you would go. you drizzle the sauce on top too? Yeah, I'm gonna do that in a second. Oh right, my gosh, of those, and fall then... off the bone. Oh, it smells so good. How do you know when something like this is done? So again, like if you overcook it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn into the shredded, like a pulled beef oh, okay. or a pulled 
Yeah. It's not a terrible thing. It's not a terrible thing. It's still going to be tender and and juicy. And there's there's less degree of difficulty or, Le or much mistakes. less degree. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So as long as see like see how I can just put my fork right into it. Oh yeah. Pretty much that's when you know it's done. Well, Beautiful. I want to put my fork into it. <laughs> Thank you so much. And there's even more delicious recipes on our website, mymassappeal.com. We.